Authorities are warning the bushfire emergency is not over and sweltering conditions are expected to return. Prime Minister Julia Gillard and New South Wales Premier Barry O'Farrell have announced natural disaster assistance in 37 local government areas. These include Cabon, Cowra, Orange, Parks, Blaney and Boorowa. The losses for landholders across the Riverina extend more than 2,000 hectares. We're talking livestock in the thousands, uh, predominantly sheep. We're talking hundreds, uh, if not thousands, of kilometres of fences. Uh, a, a series of outbuildings, sheds, storage facilities and feed that's, that's been lost. Residents in Wagga, Young, Gundagai, Tumbarumba, Cootamundra and 32 other local government areas will be able to access natural disaster assistance. We're determined to, uh, to ensure that uh, we do what we can to try and get this community back up and running. The state and federal government is currently assessing the damage bill, expected to climb into the millions. We have budget constraints, but as I said when I visited Wagga earlier in the year, um, we can't forecast, we can't plan for, uh, for floods, for fires, uh, we just deal with them. While the threat of fire has eased, crews are still on standby. The weather is forecast to worsen from tomorrow and over the weekend. Most of New South Wales will be in high or above fire danger rating conditions. We can expect to see uh, fires being difficult to contain uh, and fires starting, uh, starting easily and spreading quickly under those hot, dry, windy conditions, particularly in the grassland country. The public need to continue to be alert. They need to have their bushfire. Uh, uh, survival plan ready and able to be acted upon. To download a plan, visit the RFS website. Sarah Bonnell, Win News.